Hi, it's Bandana Grandma, and I'm here in my yard in front of my flowers. It's November 3rd, and look at my flowers are still blooming. I'm in Zone 7, Maryland, and the other night they told us it was going to be 47 degrees, and it went down to 37 degrees. So that was a big difference. I don't know how that happened. But thankfully it didn't freeze. I still got a few cherry tomatoes on my tomato. My flowers are okay. Um, today I'm going to be working on my compost. I've got a pile that's been composting for quite a while and it should be ready except for some big sticks that are in it and I'm going to get those out. Um, I'm going to tend to some of my garden beds that are going to have to winter over and uh, the leaves are falling in another week or so we'll have enough down where we can vacuum them up with my vacuum chopper and then we'll blow them on top of my strawberry bed to keep them covered for the winter and i'm going to be picking my rose hips so i can use them for something nice so that's what i'm doing today here on my homestead in zone 7 maryland Well, it's two days later. I didn't get out here after the rain until now to work on the compost. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, there's way too many big sticks in it, but what's in there looks great. Mmm, it smells nice and earthy. Yeah, I got some good compost here. I just have to sift these big sticks out of it. And I'll put it around my fruit trees and get my garden bed ready with it for next year. have a fancy sifter but what I do have is this metal grate chair with a bucket underneath and that's gonna have to do and I can get rid of the sticks as I sift and I'll get my compost that way
Okay. Now what we have is beautiful compost. It took me, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes maybe. It's gorgeous. And this was all made from the leaves on my property, um, the uh, brush and uh, weeds that I pulled on my property, and the kitchen scraps. So this is going to be beautiful, moist, enriched compost. And a lot of worms have been in this earlier, so they left behind their goodies too. This is well worth a little bit of work it took me to do and I'll get quite a few more of these going but this one is going to go around my fruit trees so next spring this is November next spring hopefully they'll be well fed and give me beautiful blossoms maybe even a little fruit without any chemicals now this is my gala apple that you may have seen me plant it's a year and a half ago I planted this and I got some apples off it this year but only a couple and right now I'm going to take my compost here in November and apply it down here at the roots and hopefully it'll do well next year now I did have problems with it this year with scab so I think that's what it is um, the leaves got this scabby stuff on them. Um, I don't know a whole lot about fruit trees yet. I still got to read up, but it did have a problem. So I'm hoping next year with good nutrition and maybe some organic treatment, I can take care of that. But for now, it's going to get some beautiful compost. And I'll cover that with mulch too. Okay, my second bucket is just about filled up. And when I'm done with each load, I have these nubbly bits left. And I'm taking those and filling that bucket over there. I can use that for mulch. Right. Here's my second bucket. Beautiful. And that'll go on my next fruit tree. This is my apricot fruit tree. And that's going to get the next load of compost. Okay, this is my plum, my superior plum, and that will get the next load of compost. Okay, this is my Asian pear, and I finished sifting what was left in the wheelbarrow and gave me about half a bucket more. And I'm going to put that on the Asian pear.
Thanks for visiting the Bandana Grandma channel. If you're liking what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up so I know you're liking what I'm doing. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos, hit the subscribe button.